Hey guys, and welcome back to Spyro. When we last left off, we were in the Peacekeeper's world, and we managed to complete the Ice Caverns and Dry Canyon. Yes, I remember. So, let's continue. I think we're going to go to Clifftown next, because Clifftown's quite a fun mission. Um, it's probably one of my favourites. Especially one of my favourites of the early on missions. I am actually trying to record fairly quiet if I can, because the missus has got pretty bad migraine in the other room, so shh. Anyway, Cliff Town. Cliff Town is cool. This level kind of blew my mind a little bit as a kid, if I remember correctly, just because there's kind of a multi stage uh level. Well, it is a multi stage level with a huge ravine going across. Uh, but we'll get into that in a minute. One thing that uh, felt so satisfying back in the day was when you were stuck on a certain area. You couldn't quite work out how to get... You could see the gems, but you couldn't quite work out how to get them. And that feeling of satisfaction when you worked it out was amazing. Now, I love these enemies because they've got their little Zorro cloaks, which uh, look pretty cool. They have their metallic Zorro cloaks. Uh, that always cheers me up. Right, let's go start collecting some gems. So what have we got? We've got 400 gems, three dragons, and a dragon egg. Oh my. So, quite the laundry list here. Ah, feels good to be back in the desert as well. This mission is way more fitting. Oh god, she just kicked us in the ass. It's not very nice. Now, um, we must flame these pots as well. These pots contain gems. And uh, I believe that screwed me over quite a lot when I was a kid. Ah, look, we have these lizards. I love these lizards. They remind me... Oh, there's a butterfly there. That's an extra life. Nice. Cool. Those lizards remind me of the... Uh, oh, God. Of the uh, dinosaurs from... <laughs> <laughs> from Jurassic Park. Look at that little guy. Oh, isn't he adorable? Look at that face. Get fucked. <laughs> yeah, they remind me of the lizards from Jurassic Park. With Dennis. I believe the character was called Dennis. Where he's trying to escape the island with the stolen uh, embryos. And he gets tar in the face. Love it. Right, let's go. Let's rack these guys up. Get out of here. Ooh, I hear a thief, an egg thief. Now this one can be a tricky little sod because there's some really tight corners that you have to turn here. Ooh, and unfortunately, turning these corners does quite often get you trapped. So let's keep going, come on. We're gaining, and then we hit the side because of course we do. Oh no, I think that's our first death. Our first death in the series. Well, I can assure you guys, it will not be the last. Uh, let's kill the enemies again. Every time you die, the enemies do respawn. But it's okay, because we get to kill them again and earn those uh, orbs. Which, hopefully in time, will generate more health for us. Or at least generate more uh, lives for us. And we are going to flame all of the critters where we can, because... I didn't realise to the extent that that actually gave us extra lives. Right, let's try chasing this guy around the other way. See if this is a better way of doing things. Come on, you little fucker. Ah, he is way out ahead of us. But we do keep getting hung up. Come on, come on, come on. Almost got him. Almost, almost. Get that flame ready. Get that flame ready. Oh, I can taste him. I can taste him. I can taste him. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, got ya. It's that flame. That flame gives you that extra little bit of range. Alright, who have we got? Halvor. Oof. How's a dragon supposed to flame metal armor anyway? Remember, Spyro, flame won't work on metal, but charging with your horns, that should do the trick. It does. Cheers, buddy. But we've already been told that by somebody else. Pretty much. Oh, hey guys. Die. And you. You can die too. Spyro is not interested in your nonsense. 
Now, most of the enemies in this game don't really pose much of a threat at all. But there are a couple of uh, enemies, especially later on, that do turn up the fuck factor quite a bit. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Right, let's grab that. Don't think we can actually... Nah, we can't. We can't flame that from here, unfortunately. All right. Give me some of the good stuff. Thank you, Tink. Let's go. I'm assuming she's called Tinkerbell. Isn't that what all fairies are called? Ah, oh, hello. Not bad. I'll take it. Better than a kick in the ass, that's for sure. Now, this is a really cool level. I like these rugs that are laid out everywhere. I'm not sure if there's actually an official enemy uh, list for this game. I'm going to say there probably is. They were always called uh, Norks, as far as I knew. Just different varieties, but I guess they must have had names. Seriously? Seriously? That's all you got? That's all you got? Pathetic. Now, we can see our lock chest there, but we don't have a key. So that's a bit of a problem, but don't worry. That's what the fireworks are for. And I actually really like the fireworks. I thought that was a cool mechanic. Let's deal with the lunch ladies. Get them done. Steal their treasure. Boil the soup. Now, I hope that's not dragon soup. That would be a little bit awkward, wouldn't it? All right, what are we doing? Not bad. All right, that's not bad. It's not bad. We've got a good amount of treasure there. Right, who are you? Enzo. Hey, what's on the other side of that river? Why don't you glide there and find out? I like the way he's got rocks for beards. For beards? For his beard. That's quite random. Uh, okay, yeah, so from here we can pretty much reach every part of Cliff Town. More or less. But let's set off this firework. There we go. Oh, they're so cool. So satisfying to watch them go. Okay. Now we've been to the top, we actually unlock this little vortex, which gives us a nice little uh, shortcut. You actually get those quite often. Nice little shortcuts. So what does that bring us up to? Ooh, that's not good. I never like it when you're uh, stuck on a odd number because more often than not, that means you've missed one somewhere. And I don't like this. Ooh, that was just, literally just made that. Right, we've got some more buzzards. Oh, that's fine. Spyro can eat. Eat well this day. Feast on buzzard bones. Ooh, hello. We've got some... We've got some critters as well. Nice. Well, that's fine. We can use them. In a minute. Right, let's take out these buzzards first. Sparks is looking a little bit uh, worse for wear there. Yeah, so this is one of the areas that was really fun getting to. I always enjoyed the gliding mechanics in this game. Ooh, what have we got there? Birds of a feather. Flame every vulture in the level. Nice. Well, I mean, you kind of have to. Alright, give me some health, buddy. Cheers, boss. Let's flame the rest of these guys, see if we can get a blue. Nope. What about you? Nope. No blues. Unfortunate. Right. Okay. Now, before we move on, let's make sure we've got all the treasure from here. Also, I think... Yes. This is something that you have to be careful about. <laughs> this is a bastard behind here. There are some hidden gems. And look at that. That one was a purple one worth 25. That's a really dirty little secret there. I don't mean the good kind of dirty little secret either. Oh, hello. That was a sly little hidden bastard there. Come on. Do we get any blues? Oh, we got blue. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so you don't actually have to eat the blue. Oh, Sparks doesn't actually have to eat the blue, guys. You just seem to get them by default. That's good. 
because if you spawn too many butterflies, they will disappear before Sparks has a chance to eat them. Oh, don't like this. Oh, that's so close. That's so tight, that jump. It really is. Okay. So what are we looking like here, then? Oh, these guys are just spawning? Pretty sure they don't do that most of the time. Huh. Interesting. Okay, well, you know, whatever. Um, now... Marco. Hey, we know a balloon guy called Marco. You could reach the highest point in Cliptown. We can get to almost anywhere from here. We can. I use that whirlwind over there. All right, buddy. Now, what he means by that whirlwind is this one here. Uh, we can get back to any point. I say at any point. We can use that whirlwind, whirlwind to get back to the highest point if we need to so we don't have to go all the way around which is nice right let's grab up these what are we up to now Ooh, I don't like it I don't like it that's a very odd number we might be okay we may be okay we shall have to see what happens right okay come on baby come on come on come on yes oh ten Ah, it is as we feared. Oh, but look, but look. Any blue guys? No, okay. See, I don't, I'm guessing the blue guys is, is a, a random thing. I didn't realize they were as frequent as they were. I mean, throughout all of my playthroughs of the other games, admittedly, I haven't been going out of my way to kill the critters. But out of all my playthroughs, I've only seen the blue guys a couple of times, literally. Oh, look. Yeah, unless it's this level, they're, they're exceptionally common on this level. So, I know where to come if I want to grind out lives. Because critters as well, at least on the Switch, don't respawn. Like these ones seem to. Definitely not like that. That's really bloody interesting, to be honest. I mean, lives are never really a problem in this game anyway. We are going to use quite a few before this game's over, but that's kind of interesting. I'm not sure if there's a achievement linked to killing X amount of critters, but we'll get one more load and then we'll leave it as that. Just to see if we can get lucky with another life. No, never mind. At least Sparks is fat and happy. Good man, that sparks. Okay, cool. So hopefully in this video we can finish up the rest, well, the last few bits of this level. I don't know why I'm going the long way either. That's kind of stupid, but hey. Sparks probably needs the exercise after all those butterflies. Uh, yep, we are 100%. Nice, sweet. Let's go. Yeah, those blue butterflies. And I'm not sure, not 100% sure anyway, if those blue butterflies were in the original. Coming, think of it. I think instead of getting the blue butterflies, I'm racking my brains now. I have a feeling you just got a extra life statue come out. I think that's how it worked. Yeah, instead of getting the actual uh, blue butterfly. I might look that up though, because that's cool. Right. Oh, nice. So, yeah. Maybe they're just more common on the Xbox then, maybe. Or, I guess it's possible I've just become incredibly unlucky on uh, the other versions. I don't know. Okay, cool. So, we've done Dry Canyon. There is... I think there's one more normal level that we've got left to do. Uh, did we go down here? Ice Cabin, we've done. Cliff Town, we've done. That was Cliff Town. This one over here was Dry Canyon, I believe. Might as well kill these guys also here. Oh, hang on. Yeah. We need to get the achievement here, don't we? So we need to use a cannon. Have we killed all of the Norks? Get fucked, buddy. 
Did we kill all of the Norks in the tents? No, we didn't. Right, cool. Okay. But I don't think those guys are in range of the cannons. Bugger, yeah, yeah. We need the guys that hide here, I think, really. Okay, that's cool. Well, we can get that next time. That's not a problem. So I don't think the cannons have uh, that much of a range on them. And there's none around here, is there? Not really. No. Yeah, look, these critters are respawning. Unless they patched it, because 100% that they never used to spawn like that. I mean, I can just literally run around if I, you know, get bored. I can just run around for ages and just harvest these guys up. Which is kind of interesting. It's kind of blown my mind a little bit, actually. Alright, well, uh, we could go for night flight, which, by the way, I freaking hate night flight. Hey, look, there you go, another life. Now, these guys don't give us anything. They literally just have one orb once you've already taken the egg off them, which is a little bit stingy. Yeah, so I think we've just got night flight. We do. Okay, well, let's go have a crack at night flight then. Uh, I'm not looking forward to this. I hate night flight. It is my least favorite flying level. But, oh boy, this could take a few attempts. I'm just going to warn you now entering night flight now there's a set pattern there's a set route through this mission that you have to take and the time limit is so incredibly strict here you really don't get a lot of uh, a lot of wiggle room put it that way all right let's go let's try and get as much speed as we can so go for the rings first then want to bank off and go straight for these these chests but there we go Yep, fucked it already, I reckon. I reckon. Okay, that's fine. There's also a skill point that we need to get on this level, which we will get after we've got all the treasure. Okay, cool. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's just keep moving, just keep moving, just keep moving. All right, Spyro. All right, Spyro. This is good, this is good. We're making very good time here. Not bad, Spyro, not bad. We'll make an expert flyer out of you yet. Okay, this is where things get difficult. And I'm not convinced I've got enough time to do it. There we go. Might get lucky. Might get lucky. Might. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. So we have to flame all of those fairies. Holy shit. <laughs> Fuck me, guys. First time. Uh, I think that's an, actually a first. Right, let's retry. And the reason we're retrying is because we need to flame all of the fairies. So that is exactly what we intend to do. Now, where are they? Got to try and remember where all the fairies are now. I'm sure that's what we've got to do. Right, okay. Right. It's... You know what it is? It's actually a achievement. It's not a trophy. But we're going to try and go for it. Let's go. There's a fairy right here off the bat. So we flame her. And then, just go straight for these as usual. I don't think, there she is, got her. I don't think we have to get 100% uh, run. Oh, wait a minute. We don't have a time limit now. We've already completed the game, uh, completed the level. Oh. Okay. That's curious. Can you tell that I've never actually retried one of these? Hopefully, we can still get the achievement then. So, 
think the last fairy is around here. No, where's she gone? We've gone the wrong way now. She's around here somewhere. Let's just grab these last rings because of, you know, OCD. There we go. Alright, so where is she? Right, well, there's you. She's over here, I remember now. Really hope I can still get this achievement. There she is. Yes, we got it. Nice. Happy with that. Hot wings. Nice fat 30 points as well. Uh, what are we missing? We're missing chests. I definitely... There's something about achievements that I infinitely prefer over trophies. I like the interface to them, I think. I like the way they pop. I like the sounds they make, and I like the way they come up and they scroll through kind of what you've done to achieve them. That's just personal preference, though. Man, back during the 360, um, yeah, the 360 era, which I still can't believe was 15 odd years ago, soon to be 16 years ago. Holy shit. I used to be the biggest achievement hunter going. I used to love it. Just to, you know, pride myself on milking every game dry of every achievement that it had. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Alright, there's Dr. Shemp. Now, there is a skill point for doing a 100% run on him, which we're, uh, to, for doing a perfect run on him, which we're going to try and get. Confronting Dr. Shemp. Oh, it's so fun to be unlocking achievements again. Trophies just don't interest me in the same way. And I, I honestly, I cannot really tell you why. It's strange. You would have thought that trophies and achievements are just as satisfying. But not for my little brain. Alright, now we don't have to kill those guys. Like, they will literally, you know, just run to their death. To have to make a mental note. Oh, actually, I think the gems automatically home in on you, which is even nicer. Oh, God, he was homing in on me then. Get fucked. Alright, so it's just these lunch ladies to deal with. Which we certainly can deal with. Now, I'm not sure, I can't remember off the top of my head if you can get hit by these enemies. Well, I hope we can. Because technically he shouldn't have hurt us. I think it's only the boss that we have to be perfect with. But it could be the whole level as well. In which case we might have to retry this. Piss off lady. Some nice gems around here. Lovely. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Let's go get our key. Awesome. Now, I believe, yeah, there's a platform all the way over there, which we need to uh, get. So I don't think we can get it from here. I think we need to get it from uh, further on. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. We can get that. Oof, just. Literally just. Okay, cool. Let's go. That was sketchy. That was way sketchier than I like things to be, but... Hey, we did it. It doesn't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. Winning's winning. Dr. Shemp is so cool. You don't know what it's been like listening to him over and over. But I tell you one thing. He should watch his back. Yeah, is that right? Watch his back. Got ya. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. All right, buddy. Now, I think the first time, yep, he does that. And then he runs. Next time, I think he swings and you jump over it. Got to remember his pattern now. It's been a little while since I've done this guy. So, that. No, no, no. He swings around, I remember. So, what he'll do is that. I remember. Now, with this guy, I think this is the one where you jump over his attack. Yep, and then flame him. Cool, got ya. Let's have these. 
We'll come back and get the 100% in a minute. Nice. Now before we return home, we've got these to get. Which is a nice fat 25. What have we got here? What's in the box? Unlock the strong chest. Okay, surprised that's an achievement, but hey, I'll take it. And there we go. There's the level 100% complete anyway. We just have to get the achievement or the uh, skill point, which is fine. We can do that. Just have to not get hit. Which is way easier than it sounds, I'm going to be honest. It's probably one of the trickier uh, points of this game. But it, it genuinely is not that hard. So let's spark this one up again. And give it another go. Would have been nice if they made these loading points a little bit quicker. I guess they're not too bad. Okay. Now I know we've got green health here, which isn't brilliant, but we're not actually meant to get hit, so it doesn't matter. Okay. You're ready, Spyro? You're fired up? I still can't actually believe. Really? Really, dude? Freaking really? Right, well, I guess I'm going to exit the level. <sighs> Quit. Ah, oh, shit. Continue. Really? Fucking really? The adventure continues supposed to quit level game oh wait so if we quit and continue it restarts us here okay that's interesting now what I don't like is as they run towards you you'll notice they kind of go their own little direction there which is slightly annoying All right, let's jump up here because they can't get us up here Nice. And then we can flame the mad bitch. Now, obviously, we don't have to kill these enemies. All of them, anyway. That was one. That was two. I have a feeling there's another one here. Nope. Yeah, she's the one that's got three there. All right, let's just get the fuck out of dodge. Just easier that way. Um, good man. I like it when they sacrifice their lives. Oh, they're all gone. Sweet. Thought there was only two for some reason. Okay, not bad. That's definitely the best way of dealing with them. Right, so let's wait for him to attack. And then flame his ass. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Now this one, this is the one where he does the pirouette turny roundy thing. Yep, so flame. And then this one, ah shit, I forget this pattern already. Right, okay, that's cool. So, easy. Job done. So there we have, oh, hang on. What did he drop? Did he drop a life? Nah, just a standard orb. Cheap bastard. Could have at least given us a life. Anyway, that's that. Another skill point down. We're actually making some pretty good progress here. One second. Right, so that is... That's this world complete. So, when we... In fact, we might as well go over now. To the, oh god, to the next world. Oh, hang on. Yes, we need to use the cannon as well, don't we? I remember. My brain works sometimes. Yeah, so neighbours just left us a present on the doorstep. Bless them. Really do get some nice neighbours around here. There we go. Blew his ass into next week. Shoot the moon. <laughs> I like that. That's cool. Okay. 
Let's have a little look before we do leave. Let's see what achievements and trophies we actually have here. Hopefully we've got a good chunk of them. Let's get our health filled up before we move on. Because the game definitely starts getting a little bit trickier in the next world. So I definitely want as many lives as we can. Um, okay. What are we up to? We need a f ah, some more wabbits here. Well, there's one more wabbit there anyway. And then another one there. Come on, give me a life. Give me a life. Give me a life. Oof, that was a little bit, little bit iffy, if I say so myself. Do we get a blue? Do we get a blue? We don't get a blue, you stingy bastards. Ah, well. That's the way the rabbit gets roasted, I guess. Oh, look at that. And we get a blue. Nice. Right, let's go. So, the next world. I can't believe how fast you found so much stolen treasure. I know, right? Ah, the Magic Crafters. Okay, this wasn't actually the world I thought it was. For some reason, I thought we were moving on to the uh, swamp-like world. Now, I like the Magic Crafters. The Magic Crafters and the Dreamweavers are my two favourite worlds in this game. So, this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to enjoy this. Also, I have the final mug of coffee that uh, exists in this house. So, press F for me. And I really can't be asked to go to the shops right now. It is too late. Oh my god, guys. Just how freaking good do these worlds look, though? Seriously, they're gorgeous. Now, this world is full of tricksters. But, hey, you know, I'm sure we shall put them all to the flame in the next episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, until next time.